Hey, welcome to the Hemming Sows Daily. This is something we've only started to, doing, to do two weeks ago when we realized that everything's changing forever. <laughs> and so we've been talking, having these great conversations with clients and friends and just, you know, first of all, just to check out how people are doing and, uh, and then also talk about some of the creative things that you're up to. So um, why don't you tell the people who don't know who you are and what the Gaia Project is a little bit about uh, Gaia? Sure. So the Gaia Project is a charitable nonprofit in New Brunswick. We just service the province of New Brunswick and our mission is to empower youth to take action on climate change through education. So we work uh, in the formal education sector uh, K to 12 uh, alongside teachers to deliver in-class programs. Fantastic. And it's been really neat. As I was going through our, uh, our library, um, Hemmings House has done a fair bit of work with you guys over the years. I didn't realize that we had done so much because uh, way back in the, when, when uh, Gaia was founded, um, we did some really cool projects like up at uh, the different uh, energy production plants around New Brunswick and mm -hmm. it's really neat. So uh, wh where is Gaia now? I don't want to say now COVID now, but right before COVID, what, what sort of uh, impact are you guys making in New Brunswick? Yeah, so we have um, hit our stride. We just are launching a new five-year plan focused on engaging all schools in the province in taking climate action and really trying to scale up what we're doing. Uh, so this year we did, um, we worked with almost 10,000 students so far, which is about 10% of the students in the province. And we're really trying to get to every school and work with all students across the province to some level uh, on climate action. And um, what, a, what a phenomenal, uh, purposeful career you have to be able to inspire that in our kids. That's uh, fantastic. It must make you feel pretty good to every day realize that you're, you're fighting the fight that way. Yeah, it, it really does. And like the whole staff team is really connected to what we're doing, especially in this day and age, you know, when Gaia started, it's been around for a decade. If you can believe it, we've been doing this it. work. I saw, I saw early videos. It was <laughs> like eight or nine or maybe even 10 years ago. And we, we started doing videos with you guys. Yeah, and like when we started, Brian McCain started the foundation and it was really focused around energy literacy and getting people engaged in renewables and understanding the role of renewable sector in our energy future. And when I've been on, I've been with the organization for four years. And when I came on board, it was really at a time where we could say the word climate change. You know, 10 years ago, if you were in a school saying we're talking about climate change, there might be a little less interest, but now it's really, you know, a front page story. Teachers are engaged, students are engaged. There's a global movement around it. So we're really excited that we can now come forward and, and work in a lot of dimensions of climate change. Did you hear that, that really disappointing story about, um, it, it was a, a town out in, in Alberta. I don't know where, but it's, you know, close to the, the, the oil patch and uh, a teacher was, um, talking about climate change and uh, but you know uh, he said he was doing it in a balanced way and it, it put the whole community up in arms you know saying that the uh, they should, teacher shouldn't be teaching this and did you hear that story I don't know if you, if, if you heard that or not oh I haven't heard that but I've heard tell of of stories like that yeah. um yeah you but know, in New, in New Brunswick, we have a climate change action plan and part of the climate change action plan that the province put out was to do K to 12 education on climate change. So it's nice to see that our provincial government has stood up and said like, this is some, there is room in education for climate change. It's just finding out how to implement it K to 12. Amen. And just, uh, you know, the, the point being that as, as we can empower the kids in this province to understand this from an early age, like how powerful does, is that for the future? So this is, this is really cool. Now, before we talk about uh, what the Gaia Project looks like in our new reality, um, we just did a video with you guys. Um, should we share it? And then you can tell us what's going on. Sure. Okay, let's, let's just see if this works. Okay. Uh, tell me if this is full screen for you right now. Yes. All right. 
Now, who is that little character? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's, let's see what happens. I'm so excited for my kids to sign up. We're going to be signing up immediately. Tell me, what is going on? What did we just see? So this is our latest initiative, the Guys Climate Quest. Um, and about, oh my gosh, I think it was about three weeks ago when we started to see uh, the coronavirus uh, starting to creep into our province, uh, rumors that schools were going to close. Uh, I sat down with kind of my senior team like what are we going to do you know what can we do to um, move our mission forward essentially engaging students um, during this crisis uh, and we thought is there a role for us to play are we just going to wait until the fall to continue our mission and we really had you know we weren't sure what to do at first and then we thought well let's for at least a month, it's Earth Month, April, we had all these big plans to do, to engage and launch our strategic plan and launch these videos. And we thought, okay, we can't do a lot of that, but what can we do? And so the team came together and I, I'm just so uh, amazed by my staff team that's just all risen to the challenge of creating content uh, directed at parents and uh, kids that are at home with their parents essentially to do activities uh during this time which is so critical too i mean like uh even just uh, following what our um education minister was saying yesterday uh about the you know the, the whole system's trying to figure out ways to you know uh, get content into the into the households of all these people who are staying at home right now and what a, what a task but for organizations like yours to be helping in that system is is fantastic so i thank you personally for that lizzie that's that's really fantastic and like i say we uh i've got two kids here that are i've got three kids but two of them who are <laughs> old to understand uh, and we will definitely be signing up so what's the best way for people to get signed up so um you can sign up on our website facebook and instagram as well as on twitter and it's oh my goodness i'll have to get the hashtag or the sign up it's www.thegaiaproject.ca um hold on a second i really should get this right because my my communications person she she made it a slash subscribe or something um do you know what you could do too is email me the specifics and then immediately i'll I'll put that in the uh, description of this video. Perfect. Because <laughs> I don't want to screw it up. Because yeah, yeah. I, I want her to, yeah. So it's, it's basically on, you can check our website as well as social media at, at the Guy Project um, to learn how to subscribe. But it is like, we've been having a lot of fun with it. It's running through to the end of April. And then in April, we're going to be um, building out some new content as well that's, um, relate it to potentially the teachers who are working uh, on developing content for their students and some more fun activities for parents to do. Fantastic. Lizzie, thank you so much. And thanks for uh, what all of you do at your team at the Gaia Project. And thanks for trusting us as well to help you with that animation. We had, it was a, a, a kind of a scramble for my whole company because we're, we're usually doing live action films. Mm -hmm. but in the last two weeks, we've been like completely pivoting to animation because we can actually do that. But uh, 
it was a, it was one of those last minute. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. Let's let's make our work. It probably mm-hmm. took a days than we we had hoped, but uh, we had a lot of fun making it. So thanks for yeah. that. You guys, it made a huge difference. We have over five hundred families subscribe now to the Climate Quest. Yeah. So it's awesome. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, and that video made a huge difference for sure at just yeah. getting people engaged. So thanks so oh, much. Great. Well, thanks, Lizzie. And uh, best wishes and stay happy and healthy. I hope you uh, play those guitars later on. <laughs> Sounds good. See, <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.